There are many like it, but this Hellcat is mine. Hi, I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association, and in this video, we're talking about the Springfield Hellcat, a direct competitor to the Sig Sauer P365, and you might be asking why I bought this Hellcat. I really like this little gun. There are a few problems with it, and we'll talk about those later because I always give you fair and honest reviews. But folks, here at the USCCA, we give you education and training to make sure that you can avoid danger and save lives. And that's what we're here to do. And hang around a little bit because there's gonna be a chance to win a free gun. Not this gun, this is my gun. If you're asking how many guns I own, that's none of your business. But we're talking about the Springfield Hellcat. It's a compact pistol. Three inch barrel, 18 ounces overall roughly, and it comes with two magazines. We have an 11 round magazine and a 13 round magazine. This is just a super sweet gun to carry. And there are a lot of things that I really like about it, but I'm gonna close the action. You see that we're empty. So just to make sure, safety first for everybody. Nothing in the magazine well, nothing in a visual and physical inspection of the chamber. So I can close this and nobody will leave any comments saying I was being unsafe. Here we go. What I really like about this pistol is the sighting system. This U-shaped sight here at the back end is very easy to pick up. With my old eyes, I can still see this great and put rounds right on target with this gun. We took it out to the range. It's great to shoot. Shoots slow, shoots fast, shoots straight, does everything that I want it to do. And the dot doesn't look any bigger when you're looking at it from out here, but when you put this dot in this U-shaped sight, this thing gets on target really fast. And like I said, three inch barrel and 18 ounces. This gun is just a dream to carry. It's very thin. We love it. it works wonderfully well as a concealed carry pistol, um, but it's, you know, I would also call it a primary gun, even though it is technically a micro, but again, 13 rounds plus one in this magazine. It's, it's the extended, they call it the extended magazine. And then the flush fit magazine is 11 rounds. So a couple of things that I really like about this firearm is the tang here at the back end protects my hand. Now, we have had discussions before with other firearms that will cut my hand during long days of shooting. People have accused me of not knowing how to hold a gun because of that. I say it's a gun design issue that if that slide is biting my hand, then you know what, maybe I'll look for a different gun. Slide has never bitten my hand using this Springfield Armory Hellcat. Let's take it apart and show you what the inside looks like. Another reason I really like the Hellcat is there's the takedown lever and I do not have to pull the trigger to take this gun apart. So again, we make sure there's nothing in the, in the chamber, lock the slide to the rear and just flip that lever up. Now we release the slide. Now we get to finally pull the trigger and it comes apart into its basic parts. Captured recoil spring on the guide rod right there and it's a dual recoil spring. This thing really kind of kicks the rounds out when we're uh, at the range and, uh, and it's ejecting out the side there. So pop out the recoil spring in the guide rod. The barrel just comes out through the back end and we have a gun that is now completely disassembled and ready to be cleaned. And yeah, I've been shooting it enough that it probably should be cleaned. But the ease of maintenance on this firearm is, is something that I really love. I've run into several guns where I'm having a little bit of trouble taking them apart or one of a big name Austrian maker. And yes, I carry a gun like that. I have to pull the trigger before I can even take the gun apart. I'm, I'm always a little bit nervous about doing something like that. So, and you'll see how quickly and easily this comes apart and goes back together. We can do it right here while we're on camera talking about this gun. Lock the slide to the rear, flip that back down in place, do a function check, our gun is ready to go. Out on the range, the sighting system puts rounds on target quickly and accurately with this Springfield Armory Hellcat. And one of the things I noticed, and the gun came out back in probably about 2019, later in 2019, we're well into 2020 as we're recording this review right now, is the trigger on the Hellcat is a little bit rough. There's no other way to say it. I love the gun. Yep, it's my gun. I carry it with me, but the trigger is a little bit rough. And now in this day and age, guess what? The, the free market prevails. People are making aftermarket triggers to smooth out the trigger pull on the Springfield Armory Hellcat. I also really like the fact that we can go with the 11 round magazine in here. And with 11 rounds, this is just a flush fit. It is super small. 
and it just disappears when you're carrying it concealed. One of the things that we'll talk about, whether or not you're carrying a gun, even with the extra two rounds, you'll notice that, um, you know, we got about an extra half inch on here. The length of the barrel doesn't really matter when it comes to concealability. You can have a five inch long barrel as long as you have a short hand grip because that's the part that's gonna be sticking out underneath your shirt. So the short hand grip of this gun and it's double stack magazine, even though it's a double stack, it's still very narrow. This gun is easy to carry, disappears in the holster, nice and lightweight, again, only 18 ounces. And the sighting system, especially at combat distances, when we put this gun on target and we start putting rounds down range, I was shooting just a little bit to the high and right when I'm shooting this gun. I don't know if it's me or you know maybe I'm just a bad shot, but you know what? They're all combat effective hits at about 21 feet. So I'm not gonna complain about the function or the accuracy of this gun. It's gonna do what I want it to do at combat ranges. Now, a few more things I wanna tell you about this, but I'm reminding you, watch me all the way to the end because we're giving away a gun at the end here. Another thing that I like about it is the Cocking serrations, both fore and aft, okay? The rear cocking serrations. Now, this is where we'll start an internet fight. I love to rack my slide this way with the pincher method, down that way. If I want to do a press check and take a look inside to make sure there's no round in there after I load it, I can grab it by the front. We can argue all day long whether or not you're gonna put your hand in front of the muzzle. No, don't do that, that's dangerous. You could shoot yourself. Or whether or not you should rack the slide with all four fingers. Um, I will argue that there's no other movement in the world that you grab like this and you grab everything like this. So it's just much more natural to rack the slide that way. The slide on the Springfield Armory Hellcat is easy to rack and the controls are just both subdued but very easy to get your mind around. So we have the uh, trigger safety. So we carry with around in the chamber all the time and the safety is on the trigger. So it's a passive safety, not an active device. And then the slide lock, is it a slide lock or it is a slide release? You tell me. So the slide lock disappears on this thing when you're shooting. But sometimes when I'm in a really strong two handed grip, if my thumb gets a little bit high on this gun, I will be holding the slide release down and the slide won't lock open on the last round. Again, that's just a training issue. I haven't owned this gun really, really long. I haven't shot it as often as some of my other guns, but we're gonna get around to making sure that I am 100% on board and doing that correctly. It, it has an accessory rail, just the standard model accessory rail, even on a small gun. You can put a small laser or light on this thing and everybody and their brother is making holsters for this gun now. I happen to be carrying this one in a crossbreed most times, but it's been very popular, it's out there. You can get holsters for this, right-handed, left-handed, appendix, hip carry. Um, I even think somebody's making a shoulder holster for this little gun right now. And it would work very well in a pocket if you wanted to do pocket carry with something like a sticky holster or something like that. Because all of the edges are smoothed out. This is not gonna hang up on anything of your clothes coming out of a pocket, coming out of a fanny pack if people are still carrying something like that. This is a very solid, well-built, easy to use gun for concealed carry. The Springfield Armory Hellcat, direct competitor to the SIG 365, which if I'm not mistaken, is now the most popular concealed carry gun out on the market. But 13 rounds in the big magazine, 11 rounds in the small magazine, nine millimeter, three inch barrel, easy to conceal, 18 ounces, easy to carry. This is a great gun. So I would recommend it. Get out and try it. Make sure that it's a good gun for you. I love the polymer frame. I love the weight. I love the size. It's a, it's a good little pistol that shoots well for us out on the range. So now we're giving away the free gun. So what we do here at the United States Concealed Carry Association is we provide you with the tools to help you save lives. We teach you how to avoid danger and save lives. That's what we do. So down below, there's a link in the description. Click on that link, you get to enter to win a free gun. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content at the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. Stay safe out there. And hey, we make lots of these videos. So please subscribe to this page and click that notification bell. We'll notify you every time something new comes out. I'll see you in the next video.